Okay, let's take a look around this uh, rather splendid 1969 Land Rover Series 2A lightweight air portable. Uh, finished in RAF blue with uh, a sand brand new Exmoor trim hood. Um, <clears throat> this one's a bit different and it's fitted with uh, 4.2 litre Rover V8 power Holly Carbretta. Um, LT77 5-speed gearbox, LT230 transfer box, Range Rover diffs and uh, stage 1 brakes. So um, it's been built by an engineer who's only for the last nine years. Um, very, very well done. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's probably my favourite of, uh, of our stock currently. <coughs> um, Series 2A lightweights with the, uh, the lights in the grille are really rare actually. Only made about 1800. Um, don't see many around. So spec-wise, this one's, apart from the, the mechanical spec we just talked about, it's also got Holly Carburetor on the, on the V8. Uh, it's fitted with its uh, proper military front bumper. Um, it's got the bonnet mounted spare. It's got a matching set of uh, 750 by 16 tyres. Um, wing mirrors rather than door mirrors. Inside it's got a pair of uh, Defender front seats for a bit of extra comfort. Um, it's got NATO rear bumperettes on it. And in the back there's uh, twin bench seats um, with the seat belts for two people. There's one, one belt on each, uh, on each seat. Um, anyway, let's go on and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Not much in the way of bad bits. Obviously being a military vehicle, it's painted in military style. It's basically been uh, roller painted. But that's, uh, that's perfectly normal. Um, quite nicely done with the, uh, the Royal Air Force um, stickers and, uh, and stuff. And the tyre pressure mounting, um, tyre pressure things. Uh, it is what it is, really. All seems to be really sound and solid. There's a bit of a crack in the wing just there. Um, obviously caught something at some point in its life but that's really about the only sort of blemish I can point out. The bulkhead uh, detachable top part of it is very very good indeed uh, on both sides. Um, the closing panels all look good. It's not, you know, we, we've seen straighter lightweights if you like but um, it is one of the very oldest ones I've ever seen. If, and it has been obviously used for a bit of um, bit of fun in the past so there's some crinkling on the modesty covers and stuff. Um, doors are good, top and bottom on the passenger side anyway. Footwells are all good, A post is all there. It's quite a nice way that this has been done actually, this tunnel. Um, quite like that, it's done a good job. It's also got uh, a heater that's plumbed in just to blow some hot air. Uh, as you can see in the back you've got the twin benches so the roof is brand new. Um, dash is correct uh, the only thing that's been added to it is um, a rev counter um, and there's the uh, the red button for bypassing the ballast resistor when it's stone cold so it starts properly. Down under here she all looks good, chassis wise. Around the tail end it all looks nice. A few extra holes down here for some reason. Um, and down the off side again it looks really Straight, clean, tidy, just nice. Um, again, the, the scuttle corner and the, the, the bulkhead, vulnerable top bulkhead is very good on this one. Um, looks nice in there. Uh, again, footwell looks good. A post, doors. This door top has got a bit of rust down there, but it's not floppy particularly. Um, it's an enormous amount of fun to drive. I really enjoy it. Anyway, that's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118-907-1495 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further information. We take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards and we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world opposite of cost. That's about it.